Worst case scenario is unfolding today for the potential for a tornado outbreak across the Mississippi Valley and as well as the Dixie Alley, where the potential for several strong and long track tornadoes is currently expected, according to the Storm Prediction Center. And we have a long day ahead. Right now, the Storm Prediction Center has issued a moderate risk, which is a four out of five on the severe weather scale, meaning it's the second highest risk that you can have from the Storm Prediction Center across areas from East Texas back into Western Alabama, where there currently is a high confidence that we will have the potential for several tornadoes in this region and some of them could even be strong which means ef2 plus tornadoes and in some cases long track tornadoes the enhanced risk for severe weather has grown even further to the west and east including parts of eastern texas just outside of houston and then back into parts of central alabama marginal and slight risk of severe weather includes several different states all the way as far east as florida and georgia now outside of this area we also do have an elevated tornado risk even into parts of western georgia we still of a 5% tornado risk, including a relatively large area. In fact, we could see tornadoes anywhere in any of these areas that are shaded in color. So definitely make sure that you are ready for the potential for tornadoes today, even though the biggest threat does appear to be in areas like the lower Mississippi Valley and the Dixie Alley, we could still see tornadoes outside of that area. So don't let your guard down if you're outside of the yellow or red shaded areas. It also includes areas like Tennessee and as well as Arkansas. Now, one of the big concerns for today will be the threat for damaging winds that even could be significant at times. The Storm Prediction Center has issued now a hatched region, which means that we could see some spots pick up damaging winds exceeding 75 to 80 miles per hour later this afternoon into the evening hours from East Texas all the way back into Western Alabama. There will still be a potential for damaging winds elsewhere, but that's the corridor where we have the highest confidence for the potential for numerous to even widespread damaging winds. The hail risk for today is kind of just an afterthought. There will be some large hail out there. It's quarter to half dollar sized hail is going to be possible. It's going to be relatively isolated, though. Just make sure you're protecting your vehicle. That's the best thing that you can do today. Here's the biggest concern, though, for today is the potential for some strong and even long track tornadoes. A rare moderate risk for severe weather, including a moderate risk that's driven by tornadoes, is currently in effect from eastern Texas back into western Alabama. And this is the region where we do have the highest confidence of there being, again, several tornadoes today. What you need to make sure that you have ready to go today is flashlights. Your tornado action plan should be in place, meaning you know where to go if there's a tornado warning in your location as there could be a tornado warning pretty much at any time today mostly going to be after noon time though and all the way through the late evening into the overnight hours and also make sure you have multiple ways to receive alerts and one of the best ways you can do that is having your phone ready to go and also watching our live stream here on youtube today we are going to be live for several hours today covering this in depth for you with several storm chasers and as well as live cameras across the board in several different states so make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the bell icon so you're notified when we go live Live later today. Now, one big contributing factor to the tornado risk for today is going to be how strong the low level jet is going to be. And right now, the HRRR model is indicating that this will really intensify right around and just after lunchtime. Very strong southwesterly flow here across several different states, including Texas, Louisiana, and as well as Mississippi. And this strong area of wind in the lower levels will help to amplify the potential for tornadoes and even in some cases, producing the potential for some strong and maybe even long track tornadoes later this afternoon into the evening hours and it will really peak right around and just after sunset across the Mississippi River and also back into areas like Mississippi and eastern Louisiana and this is why we have concern today that there could be several tornadoes and again some could even be strong so definitely going to want to make sure that you are taking today very seriously have multiple ways to receive alerts and have a tornado action plan ready to go and as a reminder we will be live today on this channel so make sure you're subscribed and click the bell icon so you're notified when we go live with full-blown severe weather coverage with several storm chasers and well over 300 different live cameras across all of these states. Now let's talk more about the where and when with both the tornado threat and as well as the timing here across the Southern Plains and as well as the Dixie Alley. We'll begin with the significant tornado parameter values and this gives us an idea of where the greatest tornado threat could be today. This is right around 7, 8 in the morning. So overall, we do have a pretty good amount of wind shear already out there, but not many storms are out there quite yet. We do think that the tornado threat will gradually increase this morning and we'll likely have our first tornado warning within the next few hours, more than likely somewhere in East Texas around 10 to 11 o'clock. Eventually by lunchtime is when we think the tornado threat is really going to ramp up, especially back over near the Louisiana and as well as Texas border. And this is where we'll likely have a few supercells developing that could be capable of getting of some damaging winds and perhaps a couple of tornadoes. But the tornado threat will really start to peak sometime later this 
afternoon into the evening hours, and you'll notice there's a lot more red and orange across the board in Mississippi and Louisiana, and hypothetically, if we do end up seeing several different supercells, there is a good chance that there could be several tornadoes, and even some of them being strong or even long-tracked. There is, again, still a chance that we don't see that many tornadoes. There are still fail modes with this setup. However, I don't personally think this is going to fail today. I honestly do think there's a really high chance that we'll at least have a small-scale tornado outbreak, if not perhaps a pretty significant tornado outbreak across several different states. By 6 to 7 o'clock, the threat will continue to move east, and our significant tornado threat is really going to be ramping up in Mississippi, where there could be several tornadoes, and overall, this will really peak sometime around 7 to 8 o'clock in Mississippi. Eventually, by 9 to 10 o'clock, tornado threat will continue, and even into the overnight hours, that tornado threat is going to continue into the southeast, and we'll talk more about what's going to be happening in the southeast in just a moment. Now, let's talk more about the timing for severe weather, and we'll begin with what's happening in the southern plains. So this is right around 10 to 11 in the morning. For the most part, the storms that are already out there and the ones that are developing are mostly going to be elevated with just some showers, some thunderstorms, a little bit of hail and wind, and that's really about it. But the tornado threat really starts to ramp up right around 10 to 11 in the morning. We'll start to see some supercells developing back over in eastern Texas, and this is where our tornado threat will essentially begin right around, I think, about 10 to 11 in the morning. By lunchtime and just after lunchtime, that is when we're watching for several different areas to produce the potential for some semi-discrete and discrete supercells anywhere from southeast Texas all the way back into western Alabama. The main focus point, I think, right around 2 o'clock will be in this area here, and also we'll have a line of storms going on all the way through Arkansas, even into parts of Tennessee and Texas. This will also be capable of damaging winds and a few embedded tornadoes in that line of thunderstorms. Eventually, by 3 to 4 o'clock, the severe weather threat continues to ramp up. We're really watching any prefrontal storms for the capability of strong and long track tornadoes. The stuff that you see here in this line of thunderstorms will still be capable of producing tornadoes, but it will be more ge uh, basically geared towards a wind and also isolated tornado threat. It will not be our main focus there. We're really watching for any discrete cells that fire off in front of this line. By 5 to 6 o'clock, these storms continue to track east. We'll likely have a significant QLCS tornado threat occurring, which means tornadoes embedded in a line of thunderstorms, and also discrete cells will be trying to fire off across areas like Alabama and as well as Mississippi. By 8 to 9 o'clock, this line of storms continues to fire to the east and will continue to stay very intense, with most likely a numerous to widespread damaging wind risk and also a several tornadoes being possible in that line. And then eventually this is moving into the southeast, which again, we'll talk more about the specifics in terms of timing in the southeast in just a moment. Here's a closer view of Louisiana later today. So around 3 to 4 o'clock, again, notice how we'll have a line of storms back to the west, a few discrete cells in several different areas coming offshore from the Gulf of Mexico moisture. And again, these are the ones that are more capable of that tornado threat. I think overall, Louisiana's greatest concern will ride anywhere from about 12 to 1 o'clock all the way through about 8 to 9 o'clock tonight. And then eventually the concern will start to move more into areas like Mississippi and as well as Alabama. Back over in Mississippi and Alabama, just a closer view. Again, we'll have several discrete cells trying to fire off during the mid to late afternoon hours. These are the ones that could be capable of producing strong and even long track tornadoes. The line of storms will start to move out of the west here, going east across areas like Jackson by about 8 o'clock tonight and eventually by 10 to 11 o'clock moving through Meridian and eventually towards Tuscaloosa. And again, any sort of storms that are out in front of this line have to be watched with a very close eye because we could see strong tornadoes out in front of this line of storms. And then eventually as we go into the overnight hours, the threat will continue over into areas like Atlanta, back through Dothan, and as well as back into parts of Florida. So overall, this tornado threat will continue throughout the afternoon and evening hours across areas in Alabama, Mississippi, even into parts of eastern Louisiana. A little after midnight and into early Sunday morning, this tornado threat will continue, but I do think the tornado threat is going to be more confined towards the Gulf Coast in southwestern Georgia and as well as back into Florida. I don't expect the tornado threat to be that significant up into parts of Georgia. As we go into Sunday afternoon, the atmosphere will start to destabilize again, and we could end up seeing a couple more tornadoes across areas like Florida, Georgia, and as well as South Carolina, but overall the risk does appear to be lower as we go into Sunday. So again, just a broad overview of timing. This is eventually by midnight, so that line of storms well to the west of Atlanta. It will arrive into Atlanta sometime during the early morning hours, and eventually this line will continue to push into areas like South Carolina, North Carolina, and as well as Florida, where it's going to be a much more messy setup on Sunday, but there could still be a potential for some damaging winds, and maybe even a few tornadoes. Here's the tornado parameter values further to the north. This is downtrended a little bit since yesterday, but we could see an uptrend again. Right now, not seeing much of a tornado risk in the mid-Atlantic region on Sunday. Wouldn't rule out a brief spin-up, though, somewhere from Pennsylvania back into North Carolina. 
but overall again the risk does appear to be lower at this time so the timing for right now across the mid-atlantic for sunday looks like this storms will be arriving during the morning hours in the far western part of the state near the appalachian mountains eventually by lunchtime a line of storms will continue to push east if we have a lot of convection out in front of that line it's not going to be a very intense line but there will be a potential for some damaging winds and perhaps a couple of tornadoes and then eventually by around five six o'clock in the afternoon most of these storms are moving offshore and we should be done talking about severe weather for i think quite a while now as a reminder we are going to be live on this channel very soon so make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the bell icon so you're notified when we do go live we are likely going to be live for over 12 hours today covering severe weather for you with again tons of storm chasers and as well as tons of live cameras and also going very in depth about what's happening in real time so make sure you're subscribed to the channel and again click the bell icon so you're notified when we go live